Hi, this is Mike from Mike's Unboxing Reviews and How To, and on today's video, we're taking a look at a new camera from our good friends over at iMU. This is the iMU Cell Go. This is actually the solar powered version. There's a couple of versions of this available on the market, one of which is just the camera itself, the Cell Go, or we have the Cell Go Solar, which incorporates, as you probably guessed, a solar panel. And this is actually really good because this gives you a completely wireless installation. Well, other than the wire that physically goes from the solar panel into the camera. The camera has a built-in battery, so it means you can actually leave it in your garden or in somewhere where it's not particularly local to your house and it still can keep a charge in it through the power of the sun, which is excellent. So it isn't gonna cost you anything to actually run the device, which is brilliant. Adding into that, the fact that it has actually got its own built-in memory as well, so you don't even have to worry about buying an SD card. That's included, there's an eMMC card installed, ready to go. So it's pretty much a matter of finding somewhere to mount it, getting on and using it. And we will be doing that very shortly in the video, but first we're gonna go through, do a quick unboxing, talk to you about some of the features. Then we'll be installing it into our garden and doing some practical experiments with it to see what the actual footage is like, which you'll be able to see later. All of which will be in the video description below. So if you want to skip ahead to a particular part of the unboxing or the review part, then please feel free to do so. But for the rest of you, let's carry on with the unboxing. So first we'll take a look at the packaging and take a look at some of the highlights. So obviously it tells you what it's all about. It does have a 2K marker there. So the actual footage can be recorded or viewed in up to 2K resolution. So just a little bit crisper than you'd expect with 1080p. You also get a 100% wire-free installation as we've already mentioned. Human detection, this is actually a really good part of the iMU software and the algorithms they use. So to not get those kind of weird readings or weird things on your phone in the middle of the night where maybe some trees are rustling or a hedgehog is crossed through the garden, those kinds of things, this has got built-in human detection. So if it doesn't detect a human, you won't get a notification, or at least in 99% of the time. The solar panel, for those of you wondering, will give out somewhere in the region of about three watts when it's actually charging. So it does class that as being high efficiency, at least for a kind of semi-portable device. I think that's pretty decent. And also, as you'd expect for an outdoor device, it is IP65 rated. So it's resistant to things like heat, frost, rain, all those kinds of things. On the other side of the box, we've got the technical specifications. So I'll give you a close up of those. And also there's some QR codes there and some information on how to download the app, should you wish to. For those of you who are wondering, and maybe you don't like using apps on your phones, don't worry, the iMU software is actually really good and you can run it on either your Android or iOS devices if you wanna go down that route. And you can also use it on your Windows desktop PC, which I do and I find it to be absolutely excellent. So let's get into the unboxing process. So this is the camera itself. As you can see, it is uh, quite small, nice and compact, and actually it is, uh, most things fits quite nicely in the hand, of which possibly you might want to do. Now this is the first time I've actually seen this on a security type camera. This actually has something called vlogging mode, which is somewhat of a gimmick, I think personally, but it's nice to see that I'm here trying new and different things. So there is a button on the bottom of the camera, which doubles up either as a reset or a vlog button. And you can actually remove this from the holder. So there is actually a wall mount here. Press the button, you can release it, slide it off. You can lock it for those of you wondering. There is actually a screw. If you tighten the screw right up, it doesn't come off. But you can actually carry this thing around, press the vlog button, and you can become a YouTube sensation. Well, probably not. But anyway, if you've got kids or something, they just want to take pictures of themselves or footage rather of them in the garden playing around or whatever, then you potentially can do if that is your thing. If not, if you want to just use it as a security device, it functions absolutely perfectly like that as well. So this is vlogging mode. I have no idea how well this is going to work, but we'll, uh, we'll see what it does. So we're just taking a quick, well, short walk in the garden, currently in bright sunlight. And the camera is flashing red and blue. No idea what the audio is going to be like on this. I can't imagine it being particularly good because it is a security camera, not really a, uh, a vlogging device. So we'll uh, record this footage and see what it's like and play it back and I'll review it and then I will mention it in the review, see if it's actually any good. Um, too sure what the record time is on this. There is a built-in four gigabyte eMMC flash card actually in the camera. So hopefully that should be uh, pretty speedy for the data transfers recording, all that kind of stuff. Anyway, you're probably getting seasick by now, and uh, you know, this seems to be working okay. Just an easy thing to do, press the button on the bottom, and it goes into vlog mode. Whether or not it's gonna be much use to people, I honestly do not know, but 
we'll check out the footage and uh, let you know. So on the actual camera, you have a PIR detector. You also have a LED in the middle here, which flashes green or blue or red, depending on the different functions. There is also a sensor for the nighttime detection. There's also a very tiny hole there, which is for the onboard microphone. This does actually have two-way communication. So there is actually a speaker on the rear, microphone on the front. So if someone maybe is in your garden or come to your front door or whatever it might be, you can have a two-way conversation via that application or from the Windows app. And next to that, there is the actual camera lens itself. So as I said, up to 2K resolution there. You can also choose to lower that resolution to 1080p or 480p to extend the life of the battery, which depending where you are, depending on the amount of sunlight you get, you may want to reduce those to extend the battery life, or potentially if you're in a particularly sunny place, then you can increase the quality of the recordings and also the length of them and make the most of the system. On the bottom of the device, you have a QR code for attaching it to your IMU account. There is also a power button and also the vlog stroke reset button. So press and hold the vlog button for about five seconds or more, and it will actually reset the unit. There is also a power button as well. So if you press and hold the power button, it will turn on and then the LED will come on. So let's quickly do that. So press and hold for a few seconds. And you get the green flashing light and you'll also get a notification to let you know it's on. If you press and hold the button again, it will go through the shutdown process and you'll get a slightly different noise. So telling you which is on, which is off and the LED extinguishes as well. On the back, there's a quarter inch mount and also there is a charging jack there. So if you are using this without the solar panel, which it is available, like I said, you can charge it with USB type C connection, cables are included. Or if you're in a particularly shaded area and you're not getting as much sunlight as you'd like and you want to just top the battery up, you can just remove it off the mount and give it a little bit of extra juice from any USB source. So let's go through the rest of the bits and pieces for those of you that are interested when you're coming to install this. So you get the, the mount, which screws into the back, full range of movement on there as well. You get the wall mount. There is also included some adhesive as well. So the double-sided tester tape, which you can, if you want to, maybe you're using this in the house somewhere, you can just attach that onto the back of there, attach it to a flat, clean surface, and you can use the camera inside if you want to, or outside. Maybe you could attach it to some sort of fascia or guttering, or basically anything which is a, a clean, smooth, flat surface that should adhere to quite nicely. The unit isn't particularly heavy, so you shouldn't have any problems with the tape coming loose, but obviously do be careful. You can always just put screws into the mount should you wish to. Also included, there is some regulatory information and also your quick start guides and some information about the solar panels. You get some mounting hardware, so set of rule plugs and screws for both types of setting and for the solar panel. There is also a sticker there, which you can stick onto maybe a wooden surface or whatever you're actually gonna mount your solar panel to. The solar panel has this type of mounting, which has the quarter inch mount again, and also is fully adjustable, so you can angle it to the best position to get the most sunlight. And then you get the solar panel itself, which actually is a pretty nice thing. Again, IP65 rated, so this will be absolutely fine in most places. Obviously don't submerge it, that's not a great idea, and you're probably not likely to get a lot of sunlight underwater either. But yeah, really nice looking unit, up to about three watts delivery from this, which is absolutely fine for recharging the unit. There's a nice long cable on there, about two meters in length as well. So if you've got this, maybe your camera is in an area where it's facing towards a slightly more shaded area, but you want the, to collect power from another side of the house maybe, or just around the corner, then you can move that slightly further away. Potentially, if you want to, you could get an extension cable for this to extend the micro USB connection to make it go a little bit further. You may potentially find a little bit of drop in voltage or wattage by doing that, but it is quite flexible, it is using USB. Also included, if you do want to run this off of a PC or some sort of power bank, you can get those power banks, which have got like 20,000 milliamp hours. You do get a USB cable, so you can just plug the USB into the back of your camera and run this off a power bank. Again, depending on what you're planning on doing with it, where you're mounting it, there's tons of flexibility on how you can actually power it. The choice essentially is up to you. The battery is rechargeable, so even without a battery connected, a power bank or even a solar, you can use it portable as well, but for a slightly more limited time, obviously. But I think I've probably waffled on about this way too much already. Let's see what it's actually like and get some practical footage, both daytime, nighttime, and we'll try and get some other interesting shots as well so you can see what this camera is actually like. 
Okay, so it's been a few days and I've been given the Omu Cell Go some testing and you'll see from some footage, the footage is actually pretty decent. It's not too bad at all. Now, clearly it isn't going to be as good as if you're using 1080p on something like your mobile phone or a dedicated digital camera because there's quite a lot of compression and also we're looking at somewhere around about 15 frames per second. So it doesn't have that extremely smooth look that you'd get from a film type camera. But certainly I think the images are absolutely fine. The night vision works very well. I've got no problems or frustrations there. It seems to work as intended. Now, one of the things I would say as uh, sort of like a precautionary tell more than anything is the fact that this is a battery powered camera. Now it does have a built-in battery. I'm not sure if I mentioned it already because I'd started this video a long time ago, but the built-in battery is 5,000 milliamp hours. And of course you've got the advantage of having the solar panel to charge up that battery using sunlight, which is excellent. If you don't use the solar panel, you can get up to 120 days of usage. That is gonna be with very minimal settings. In the actual settings, there are sliders so you can adjust the record time and also the sensitivity of the detection. So if you set it to a very high detection rate, then it's gonna wear the battery down quicker. And obviously if you have the record length longer, then it's also gonna wear that battery down quicker. So you're gonna to have to find what is useful for you. For us personally, where I've got it actually mounted in our back garden, there's very limited traffic there. All we're gonna really need it for is if somebody kind of jumps over the back fence and tries to gain access to the property to get some sort of notification there and also to set off the siren, etc. of which the siren is pretty loud. I haven't recorded it because the neighbors don't particularly like it, but yes, it is quite loud for what it is. And if it's in a slightly more enclosed area, it's gonna sound considerably louder. So the cautionary tale is obviously, do bear in mind there is a battery in there and it is somewhat limited if you're gonna be doing 24 seven recording. And also you're gonna make sure that you're gonna to need to have some serious sunlight as well. At the moment here in the UK, we are heading into autumn and there's not a great deal of sun and it sets around about four o'clock in the afternoon. So there isn't a great deal of sun and where we're positioned, the sun actually rises that side of the house and the camera is that side of the house. So it gets even less. But having said that, check today and the battery is at 100% and it seems to be pretty much there all the time unless I set it to continuous record, which I've actually got it set to now. You can probably see it in the background there, the, uh, the washing on the line over there. That is the camera's live feed. With the camera set at its highest setting, so 2K recording and continuous record, the battery seems to last pretty well. Now I've had it on for a good few hours on continuous record whilst doing some kind of wrapping up for this video and it's only dropped down maybe a couple of percent. So it should last pretty much all through the night and into the next day if you've got a reasonable amount of sunshine. It'd be interesting to see what it gets down overnight. I will check and I probably will update the video description just to let you know. And of course, something which is really important about these reviews that we do, especially for iMU, being that we do use iMU cameras throughout the house for part of our security solution, is I'll probably be keeping this on all the time anyway. So if you do have any comments, questions, or anything you want me to try out or test or any in-depth information, then please do get in touch from the comment section or join our Discord and I'll be happy to answer any of your questions. The thing I must come back to, uh, really to kind of finalize this, is kind of who is this for? Now, if you're someone in a position where you want the security or you want the features of a security camera in a slightly remote location where there isn't power, there's not really that many other choices on the market, at least ones which I would trust. Now, certainly if you go onto things like AliExpress and various other websites, even Amazon themselves, type in solar powered PIR or solar powered camera, security stuff, there's an absolute ton of them. And unfortunately with these, a lot of them, they tend to use applications which could be here one day and gone the next. So I feel personally with the iMU brand, I've been using it now for, I think it's about five years. I'll have to check, I'm sure it's about five years, but we've been using them for a long time now. And they're not one of these companies which is just gonna disappear in a puff of smoke one day. It's a pretty big company. So that is the thing that potentially if you're paying even just slightly more, and in fact, these are often cheaper than some of the other ones on the market anyway, but you do get that bit of extra security, excuse the pun, when you go for IMU products, because again, they are gonna be around, the app gets updated regularly, the firmwares actually get updated regularly for all the cameras, even some of the older ones we've, we've got, like the old 720p cameras, they're still going strong. So it's definitely worth, if you're looking at investing into the ecosystem of security cameras, definitely considering IMU. And one of the more beneficial things of this is actually quite cost effective. Now in the moment on amazon.co.uk, if you buy just the Go, the Cell Go on its own, without the solar panel, you're looking at somewhere between about 40 and 50 pounds. 
if you go for the model like we've got here with the actual solar panel as well currently you're looking somewhere between 60 and 80 depending on where you buy from now of course we'll put some links in the video description so you can check out prices local to you and see what makes sense but i think for somewhere around 60 pounds 65 pounds with the solar panel i think it makes an absolute ton of sense because essentially it's all there included You've got the four gigabyte eMMC card built in for recording your footage onto. You're never gonna have to replace batteries because it's solar powered or you can charge it via USB or even a power bank. So yeah, I think it adds actually a lot of flexibility. The only thing I would say, I think they've actually slightly overpriced the solar panel. If you look at the comparison of buying the camera on its own for somewhere around about 40 to 50 pounds, then the kit with it for about 70 to 80, unless you can get discounts or vouchers, then I think there's a little bit of um, a gap there between it. And I don't think the solar panel itself warrants that much expense, but maybe it does, maybe they're hard to produce. I don't know. I just uh, try and review these things. Anyway, I've waffled on for way too long. Hopefully this video's given you some information and some uh, possibly actually generated some questions that you might have on the Celgo, in which case, like I said earlier, put them in the comments section below and we'll try and answer them. If you want a faster response, you can head over to our Discord, which is free of charge to join and you can post your questions there and i'll be glad to help you out and maybe even send you some pictures if you want to analyze them and do a bit of pixel peeping that kind of thing anyway hopefully you've enjoyed this video if you have smash that like button if you want to see more content like this on a daily basis then hit the subscribe button and the chime notification and then you'll be notified of future video releases but for now i've been mike this is mike's unboxing reviews and how to and hopefully we'll catch you in the very next video thanks for watching